Hello and welcome to Travel Beans and another episode of Refried Beans where we delve into old footage and talk about all things travel. I'm Alex, this is Emma and we are full-time travellers and digital nomads. Today we're going to talk about the 10 things that every traveller should know. Firstly is free Wi-Fi passwords. As travellers and specifically digital nomads we find it essential to need Wi-Fi on our travels. And unfortunately, it's not always clearly available. We live in a world now where we need Wi-Fi. I would love to be that pretentious traveler that says, get off your device, <laughs> <laughs> but get on it if you want to. <laughs> we have managed to find a specific website that has a list of all of the free airport Wi-Fis around the world. We will leave that in description. This has been a godsend for us. In a certain airports, they have a restriction on time and many times, especially smaller airports, we find that they don't offer free Wi-Fi. It's especially useful for saving money on roaming fees when you arrive at a new place. It's not just airports though, there are websites and apps where you can find Wi-Fi hotspot passwords basically anywhere, especially cafes, which be super useful if you don't want to go in and buy something. This leads us on to our next point, which is VPNs. VPNs are so important when you travel, especially when you're using public Wi-Fi. When you're on public Wi-Fi, your data is basically up for grabs and those snoopers out there, <laughs> they'll find you. They'll find all your data. And unfortunately, we have been hacked a number of times when we've been traveling. However, now we make sure we always have a VPN, especially when we're using public networks. And so far, fingers crossed, we've not had a problem. VPNs are also really useful for accessing restricted websites when you travel. For example, accessing Wikipedia and Turkey can be very difficult if you don't have a VPN. On your downtime, if you want to watch your favourite shows on Netflix or other sites that are restricted because of your location, a VPN can allow you to watch shows that aren't available in that country. Another huge added bonus that we really appreciate is that if you're using the VPN, you can actually find cheaper flights online. This is because the flight prices actually fluctuate depending on what country you're booking them from. So for example, if you have the VPN set up to show that you're in the UK, the price might be different to if you have it set up to say you're in Peru. HMA is our VPN provider of choice. They have more servers than any other VPN provider and this is very important guys, they don't slow down your internet connection. <laughs> this is something that has caused us a lot of headaches in the past with other companies, so that is definitely an added bonus. We've collaborated with HMA for this video and managed to get you guys a 20% discount code if you sign up for a year. So just use the code TRAVELBEANS when you check out and it is an absolute bargain. Next up is the fold and roll technique. Now some of you out there might already be aware of this, but for those of you who are not this is an essential for packing. Especially for me because I just shove everything in <laughs> and then I say I can't do it, I can't do it, you need to do it Emma. But she's the boss of it. Brilliant. So the fold and roll technique is as it sounds, you take your item of clothing, you fold it in half and then you roll it into kind of a tube shape. And this not only helps you save space in your bag but it also helps prevent creases. On a side note, if your luggage is a little bit overweight and you don't want to pay the excessive charges, we found a little trick that will help you out instead of just putting the clothes all on. <laughs> all you need for this is a pair of baggy trousers and the fold and roll technique. One of my favourite ways to hack is your fold and roll. So what I'm going to do is I, I'll fold it as you can see and then I roll it, do you see? And then... <laughs> I mean, that doesn't look very normal. <laughs> Next up is a power strip or extension cable. This is easily one of our favourite hacks that we have found whilst travelling <laughs> because as YouTubers and digital nomads, we have a ton of stuff to charge. And by using the power strip, you can actually charge four different things with one bloody adapter. It has saved us so, so much time. It is ridiculous mm. that we weren't using this before. <laughs> right, this is the ultimate travel hack for us. 
Next up is making friends with other travellers. All of the pretentious busybodies out there are <laughs> banging on about make friends with locals. Yes, of course make friends with locals, <laughs> but it's not actually that easy to do. What is easy to do is make friends with other travellers, because you have so much in common with them already. And especially if you're staying in hostels, it's super easy to meet people in the common areas. Now this might not seem that groundbreaking of a point, but basically we have saved so much money being able to stay with travellers that have hosted us around the world. And we've had amazing local experiences, because whenever we've been able to go and visit our friends who we've met travellers, Traveling, we get the inside scoop on the location that we're going to. But don't just use them, of course, for their free accommodation. <laughs> Actually like the person and be <laughs> friends with them. We've stayed with some seriously interesting people in very expensive places. So, for example, we have stayed with a doctor in Amsterdam. We have stayed with a New York firefighter who lives in a van. <laughs> At the time, he wasn't living in a van. He had an apartment, but now he's living in a van. <laughs> and even we met a celebrity, Cal Penn, in the Indian Himalayas. And then he invited us to California to stay with him. We got to have a behind the scenes tour in Hollywood and basically one of the best ever travel experiences we've had. Our next tip is a very simple one that will save you so much time and energy and that is memorize your passport details guys. How many times do you have to fill out some form or some visa application and you need to have your passport information? Honestly, the amount of time it's saved is actually kind of ridiculous. <laughs> we didn't intend to memorise it, it just happened from mm. filling it out so much. But since then, we can't believe that we didn't do this before. And another little tip to go along with this, bring a pen with you on a plane. It is so useful. I'm really surprised that airports don't supply pens because we've spent at least an hour before looking for one. Yeah. Certain airports, it seems like there's none available and the only ones that are, there's like one for the whole flight to be able to use. So it can take a long, long time to get to you. Although, don't be the person that borrows a pen because <laughs> we get people borrowing our pen and they take ages and we can't even get through customs because we want our pen bag. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Next up is using Google Maps offline. This is actually quite a new tip for us that we found out recently and it is super helpful. Firstly, you have to search the place that you're interested in and then secondly, you go to the search bar at the top and type in OK Maps and then it will give you the option to download that map offline. You can also do this with Google Translate app where you can download the language so you can use it offline. This has saved us so much confusion because we don't always have data with us and has helped us be able to translate when we need something. Our next tip is to get an app-based card that has no overseas fees. I cannot tell you how much money we have saved over the years in overseas fees by getting some specialised cards. And it being app-based makes it so much easier when you have to deal with them. We can just send them a message and usually within about 10 minutes they're helping us resolve our problem. Yeah, no more waiting on the line for like 40 minutes to speak to someone who's really unhelpful. This is the way forward. Dealing with banks over the phone is never easy, so definitely finding an app-based bank is super useful. Especially having been hacked in the past, they usually just cancel your card and then they're going to send it back to you at home. But when you don't actually have a home, it is an absolute nightmare to try and get hold on another card. On the app, you can just freeze it yourself when you know you have a problem. Once they've sorted it out, you can then unfreeze it. Now, depending on your country, there are a bunch of different banks that you can actually choose from. So shop around a little bit and find out what's best for you. Next up is slower travel. If you have the luxury of being able to travel for a long time, this one is going to save you an absolute fortune. Yes, especially if you're booking accommodation on things like Airbnb, you can get some pretty big monthly discounts. The other benefit of staying somewhere for a long time is that you get to have a real feel for the culture. You can really live like a local. You will spend so much less money, especially if you have a kitchen. You can also use that as kind of a base to actually travel away from and come back to because it's cheaper than getting the hotel. You don't have to take all your luggage with you every single time. This way you will save a lot of money on luggage fees because a lot of the time, especially those cheap deals, sometimes the luggage fee is more than the cost of the flight. Lastly, what appears to be the cheapest option up front is not always the cheapest. For example, when looking at flights, maybe that late night flight seems like a good idea and that you're saving an extra $50 by booking it, but actually you're probably going to spend more than that in taxi fees when you're landing at 3 a.m. Usually when we do these inconvenient flight times, we end up spending a lot more money, especially on food. Like 
we always go in with the intention that we're not going to spend much, but once we're having just a crappy time, <laughs> food just makes us feel better. So we eat some terrible Burger King or something, we feel like shit, <laughs> and we're now out of pocket. Also, that point leads on to long layovers. They may seem like a good idea, but actually you end up spending a fortune at the airport while you're waiting for your flight. Make sure you also check where the airport is, because although it might say it is in the city, it could be in another city and it's just hiding under the name. <laughs> <laughs> this will cost you a fortune. Also, there's not always great public transport options, so make sure you research those and look at the cost of the trip as a whole instead of only the flight price. Another point is that unless you have the luxury of slow travel, these longer journeys will not really work out in the long run, especially for how tired you are. You're probably going to lose a day just from being exhausted and trying to catch up on sleep. So sometimes it is actually worth paying that little bit extra money to be able to have a comfortable holiday. This said, sometimes we do make this mistake and get distracted by the cheap prices. We have ended up sleeping in airports because the public <laughs> transport doesn't run until nine. Also, we recently got an overnight train from Istanbul to Bulgaria, which saved us about £200 compared to going by plane. However, we were woken up in the middle of the night at customs, exhausted the next day, and basically the first day on arrival was a complete write-off. So actually, if that was for a short trip, maybe that wouldn't have been worthwhile. This list could go on all day. However, this is the best things that we have found over the years and the most useful for us. If you guys have any of your own travel tips that you would like to share with us and the other viewers, leave it in the comments below. Make sure you tell us how wrong we are. <laughs> <laughs> hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see some future Bean related content. If you want notifications of our other videos, make sure you press the notification bell and we have a patron if you want to support future videos. Also, if you're interested in a longer term travel, check out our Facebook group, Earn Less Live More. And lastly, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out!